Check out these socks. Pushing down and over. It is not my day. It catches in the guide. Oh, bloody soaked now. Oh, and oh! Oh, 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 Lord. I'd rather be fishing. All right, if you haven't already guessed from the blanket at the front, I'm doing some fly fishing today. And uh, what I want to have a chat about first up is uh, setting up the fly rod. So just some basics. Uh, f look, for, for the more experienced guys, they probably know, know these things, but uh, for those uh, who are new or might not have had the mentors that I've sort of had um, in my short time fly fishing, uh, this might be helpful. So first thing is when you're putting your rod together, um, start with a tip. So what happens if you start with the, uh, the butt section is that you're putting it together, you end up at the tip and you're trying to find a place for the reel and the butt section in a boat or if you're land based, uh, you know, it's rubbing in the sand or, or the dirt. So you want to try and avoid that. So you can you can keep your reel nice and clean. Start with the easier section and work from there, working back. And then when you get down to, to here, you can see it's so much easier to put together. The other thing I wanted to talk about is uh, actually putting the sections together. Little tip I picked up. You can see in this rod here, you can make it out or not, but there's a couple of dots and they're at every section. So uh, if we can line these, these dots up, um, it means that the eyes will be straight but rather than just lining those dots up and pushing it straight down and being done with it if you and just be careful when you do this not to to uh, put pressure on the the guides or these eyes uh, because you will you will bend them or, or misalign them so if you can just grab it keep the the dots misaligned as you push down a little bit and as you push down harder twist until those line, dots line up. So you're pushing down and over. A uh, little bit of practice and you'll get it right. What this does is, is that it, it, it locks in this joint. And I find that it's much, much stronger. I don't have too many issues. You're still getting them coming apart, but I have far less issues than I, others that I've spoken to who don't do this. Really important part though, is when you pull it apart, just remember the way you put it in and go back the other way. So it's a twist and pull really important, otherwise you could put stress on that joint. And uh, I've never broken, uh, you know, a connection, but I've heard of others others doing it. So again, down, and the last bit, join it up. All right, so the last thing I wanted to have a chat about is just threading the line. Uh, really quick, simple. If you're threading the line from the, uh, the leader, directly from the leader, let me get the end here. You're threading it up, you get all the way to the top and you accidentally let it go. So imagine you're right, you're right at the top now, you actually let it go and it slides all the way back through again. And it's really, really frustrating. So what you wanna do is fold, you use the fly line, fold the fly line over like that, thread it through the guides like so. And then what'll happen is if you accidentally let it go, it catches in the guide and you can just start again. That was a game changer for me. I don't know how many times you, uh, I get frustrated when I, I drop the line, uh, threading the, just the leader through first, but this way it catches and, and you can go again. So, all right, that's it for the tips for today. Um, I hope they help help you, you know, whether you're a beginner or um, someone's been going for a while and you learned something new. It is a little bit blowy. I'm out of the breeze here, so we'll see how we go. Hopefully I can um, get out and get a fish on the fly and I might sneak in and um, maybe uh, snag bash if there's, um, if there's such a thing as snag bashing with, uh, with the fly. All right, let's get into it. Well, I've got a pink and white seducer with a bit of flash on it. Let's see if that can encourage a, a jack. I really won't move very far from cover. And I've got to get it right in there. It's got to be right in there. And I really am sort of speed dating is what I like to call it. I do it with drains and snags. Uh, I'm not looking for a fish that needs to be encouraged. I'm looking for a fish that in one or two casts, preferably one, will uh, come out and take the fly. Never worried about 
throwing my uh, fly. Ooh, a little touch. Uh, very small. But yeah, I never worry about throwing it into areas where I've ever thought about, oh, geez, I'm, I can't throw it there because I'm not going to be able to get the fish out. you got to get the fish first. You've got to get the fish to commit and bite. Raining on and off here now. So uh, pretty consistently. A bit of water on the lens, I do apologise. I'm trying to clean it the best I can. Oh, oh no! <sighs> Fly got caught on the snag. Just held up there a bit. A fish come out and hit it. But um, couldn't hook up. Mm, good enough. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh I got to follow. Bit of a grind. At least they're starting, I guess. If I can keep the hooks in one. Oh, what have we got? Hopefully the hook stays in this one. Ah, oh, coddly. That's uh, a start. I don't know how much long I'll be out here. This rain looks pretty, well, the clouds look pretty ominous and rain's starting to come over. So we'll get this guy up and off. Yeah, gold spot cod. Take that flight and get it out. Beautiful fish. All right, we'll let him go and see if we can get another one or a mangrove jack. It'll be a bigger one. fish under there. Oh, yes there is. And he's taking me straight in. Oh, bugger. Oh, not my day today. Oh, ah, that was a jack too. Flashed at it. You must have missed it by millimetres. Jack down now I'm hooked on the branch. Damn it! It is not my day. That was a nice jack. I'll get under there. <laughs> it really is not my day. The thing launched out of the water after it. All you can do is laugh and keep on going. Oh, cannot believe that. Let's try and get this off and see if he's still in there. Why, oh, why, oh, why, oh, Lord? Oh, I think I'm just going to get a wet behind and not much else today. Well, that's even heavier. And with the medium mod on, my GoPro is not completely waterproof. So, I think I'm going to put the, my tail between my legs and head for home. 